So you've been running VT SCADA for a couple of years now. Thank you. And now you've decided it's time to upgrade to the latest version, or maybe just a version that's later than the one that you have. So we're going to show you how to do that now. We release upgrades every two weeks with uh, security enhancements, with minor new features. And every two years, we put out a major version that usually comes with about a dozen major new features. And uh, right now we are at version 12.1. And if you want to go to our website, you'll see all the new features that come with that. All right, here is our trusty wastewater treatment plant demo. Uh, I'm going to bring up our VAM, and for those who don't know, this is the VTSCADA application manager. This is where all of the applications you have on your server are stored and where you can manipulate them. Um, as you can see, I have way more than you're gonna have. You're probably only gonna have one or two, uh, but this is the only one on my computer that's running. And to get started, I am gonna hit stop. And uh, but before I close VT SCADA itself, uh, I'm going to point out that the version I'm running right now is 12.1.28, and uh, we're going to install 12.1.29. So, as promised, we shut down VT SCADA and uh, we go to our website, which I already have open. And in the top right hand corner, this blue button will take you to the downloads page. Uh, so from here, we just have to click the download button for 12.1.29, and you just saw it bloop up into the corner. I'm going to open up and there it is. I am going to extract all. Boom. Uh, there's a number of files in here which you can read about in the help, but for today all we need to know about is VT SCADA setup. So how do you upgrade to the latest version? You turn off VT SCADA, you run the latest installer, and you're done. That's it. Uh, there's a few caveats, but we'll talk about those a little later. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to double click VT SCADA setup. Uh, I'm going to get, say yes, go on ahead. This is the same process you would use if you were installing VT SCADA for the first time. So again, it's telling us it's installing 12.1.29. I agree. And uh, it's saying, who is this licensed to? Uh, this is the key, which I'm going to blur out. Uh, the key that you use to install the software uh, will reload automatically. So this is an important time to say uh, that you are able to download and install any version of VT SCADA that was released before your Support Plus expired. So. Backing up a bit, uh, VT SCADA comes with three months of Support Plus, which gives you telephone and email support, plus it gives you access to upgrades. So if you want, you can buy VT SCADA, never give us another dime. But if you want to move to the latest version, you'd simply keep that support uh, annually renewed. So if you were actually adding to the number of tags or adding an optional feature, we would have given you another key, uh, which again, like the first one, would have arrived in an email. So in this case, we're going to reuse my key and we're going to keep going. Oh, an important thing to note that if I was using VT SCADA Lite, which you may have heard of, which is the uh, free industrial version of our award-winning software, all you need to do is click this box and Bob's your uncle. But in this case, we are simply uh, reinstalling the latest version of VT SCADA. And I'm going to stick with the, uh, the same defaults. And it's ready to install. I am. So while the software is installing, uh, we show a little slideshow, and uh, this will show you how to get started if you're new to VT SCADA through the uh, Quick Start Guide, and then uh, also through the online free VT SCADA Academy, which you should definitely check out if you want to build your VT SCADA skills. And the rest of the slideshow are just a variety of new features. Most of them came out in 12.1. The amount of time that this slideshow will take will in large part depend on the, uh, the horsepower of your PC. All right, we're done. So installation is complete. We hit done and it will automatically restart. Um, and this little animation, by the way, you can just click and it will go away. And we reopen the VAM, the application manager, and now we see that we're running 12.1.2. Two, nine. So then I just go to our um, 
water and wastewater demo and I hit start. So a few caveats. Uh, we're assuming that you've built uh, your VTSCADA application using mostly standard uh, VTSCADA features. That's sort of the superpower of VTSCADA. Everything's built in. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about uh, you know everything being cobbled together in script code and possibly flying apart every time you upgrade. Not a problem. VTSCADA is all one thing. We own and developed all of our own components. Uh, but we also allow you to customize as much as you like. So if you've done a lot of customization, make sure you do some testing on an offline version of the system to make sure that all your custom elements are still running. So that's how you upgrade a single server SCADA application in VT SCADA. Uh, next time we're going to show you how to do that in a multi-server environment. And the advantage of that, of course, is that uh, you'll be able to do it without taking your system offline because you'll be taking advantage of VT SCADA's built-in redundancy. So until next time. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, we encourage you to download VT SCADA Lite, the free industrial version of our software, to uh, watch the 15-minute quick start guide, and see for yourself how easy it is to use VT SCADA. Just go to vtscada.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.